next destination's Germany. Well, we made it to our new home for the month. Life is in Germany. Life is in so we just gotta go find the key at the lockbox for our Airbnb. They left it in a in the train station lockbox, so this should be fun trying to figure out how to find it, but the train stations in this country are absolutely bonkers. It doesn't matter the size of the city, it's just like an experience going into a train station here. On a cold On a cold This is insane. We were kind of rushing through, but now we've, we definitely took pause. We definitely took pause to really realize the beauty here. Like, wow. This is our new home for the next month or so. I'm so excited that we're finally here. It was a long day. The place looks great here. I'm really excited about it. Probably gonna be figuring out something for dinner. And then after that, I really don't know what, but I, probably not a lot. We were up real late last night, had a long day today. But tomorrow, I will be exploring everything, trying to find as much cool stuff as I possibly can. Well, we're just heading over to this little German restaurant that we looked up and hopefully it's a, a good place to go. It looks like it's pretty close and that's 90% of the reason why we picked it because we're quite tired and we don't want to walk too far, but get something like a schnitzel or something like that, a sausage, something that's not another Donair because I've just had way too many of them already. Like I've had Donairs for days because it's convenient and it's cheap, but I'm, I don't really care anymore. I just need to eat something that's just normal food. Well, that was freaking amazing. Like a fantastic schnitzel and it's in such an unassuming spot, like a very good price is 40 euro for both me and Jessica to have a beer and uh, schnitzel and hot dogs or like, sausage or I don't know, I think they're more like hot dogs to me, but <laughs> I'm gonna head back now and call it a night, I think. Oh, good morning. We were on our way to go grocery shopping and we thought we'd look up the closest one and turns out just like in Grenoble, there is nothing open on a Sunday. So instead we're gonna go walk into the center take a look around. One of the big reasons we came here, just like the last place, was because it's reasonably cheap. It's a smaller city, but this place is a lot bigger than Grenoble. Grenoble is about 160,000 people here. It's about, I think, 600,000 people or so. So it is a bigger city. So another reason we decided on Leipzig is also the centralized location we're going to be able to go on some day trips to a whole bunch of different places which of course we'll be making some videos about in the future but that was definitely a big reason for us like Grenoble we didn't really think too much about location as much but here we definitely thought about it quite a bit more because we, we knew we wanted to go see a lot of other things. France we kind of just figured you know it's our first country there'll be lots of culture shock and all that but here we wanted to be able to go see around a little bit more so that was big big key for us. We should have taken the hint when the grocery stores were closed that everything else would be too. But we weren't expecting how dead this city would really be. It was an absolute ghost town. There was nothing open, almost nobody around, not even many restaurants were open. It's completely empty in this square. Like, if this doesn't show you a Sunday in this part of the world, then I really don't know what does, but. Remember these images for later, because you'll be shocked at the transformation. Either way, we looked around, trying to get a feel for the city the best that we could. 
coolest thing that we discovered were all these alleyway markets or malls, I guess you could say, that were basically open air markets that were unlike anything we've ever seen before. It got us quite excited to explore the next day. However, after an hour of walking around and nothing being open, we decided to go get lunch at the train station, considering we couldn't buy any food at the grocery store. So you guys, this train station's like a freaking mall, like a literal mall. I guess we're doing something a little traditional German here and we're gonna have sausage for breakfast, but I'm, uh, I'm not actually sad about that, believe it or not. I don't, I'm not a big breakfast breakfast person. I'd, you know, in Canada, I would get a poutine for breakfast. I know it's super Canadian, but I guess we're just eating out today, so. You guys, we'll get to see my food for the day and then we'll do our real exploring tomorrow, that's for sure. I'm definitely gonna go out and explore tomorrow. I wanna see everything opened up and, you know, all the markets and that. Like, it looks really, really cool, but I guess today we're just eating out and relaxing and that's about it. <laughs> That is really, really good. I'm not really upset that we couldn't find a, a grocery store to get some food because now we get to try some more good German food and we're going back to the exact same place that we went to last night for dinner, which is, you know, that's fine with me. We're gonna get some different kinds of food this time. Like we're obviously not getting the same dishes. We are going out right now. We're gonna go into town, check everything out that's open, and you know, hopefully, uh, do a couple of other things as well. I'm I'm excited to see the town. You know, kind of a little bit more lively in that. It's a little interesting here. We just had freezing fog, which I didn't even know was the type of weather, but never experienced that before at all. Yeah, the city's a lot more lively today. That's for sure. This the same little area on Sunday was empty. We were like pretty much the only people here, and now there's. There's tons of people here. It's awesome. Hello. Well, it looks like the, the markets and that are going on. Oh yeah, this is cool. This is almost like the Christmas markets, but not Christmas. <laughs> Remember that transformation? Yeah, there's all kinds of cool places to eat here and I didn't eat breakfast which was a big mistake on my part so I kind of got to convince Jessica to let me get something. <laughs> She's a little bit more diligent with the money than I am so I think I'm gonna have to convince her I, I gotta eat now. <laughs> yeah they're all like little trailers and that like they're on hitches or little vans and then they pop open almost like a food truck you'd see in North America. Let's see what we can get to eat here. This is a big reason I came to Europe was little markets like this. I, I just, I love it. Like getting just fresh food, street food. Like I love the street food concept. It's not something you can really find in Canada and most of North America. But it seems like this is more like almost grocery shopping, like tons of little butchers and bakers and fruit stands and vegetables and all that kind of stuff. Currywurst to try. Mm. Damn. Well, that was totally worth the three euro 90. It was a really good deal. And I know everybody's been talking about how you go to Germany, you have to get a curry worse. It's like the, the famous thing here. And so I was really excited to try it. I finally found a stand that I felt like actually had a good curry worse that wasn't just like a chain. And so that's what I was kind of searching for. And definitely satisfied. Definitely satisfied. I think we're gonna explore some of the alleyways and like kind of half indoor, half outdoor markets now. Oh my God, look at these. It's just crazy how they have tons of these kind of half indoor, half outdoor malls here, like all kinds of little stores and shops and that. Like they're not quite like a shopping mall, but like there's all kinds of them. It's like they've taken advantage of what was once just, you know, back alleys and turned them into stores and and mall type things. Like, I bet you we can find another 20 of these things because there's the one 
sign that I saw that said Market 9. So, I mean, you know there's at least nine of them. Sell all kinds of stuff, though, like art, furniture, clothing, food, like whatever you want really here it just doesn't end it's crazy because like it's so beautiful it is exactly like a mall but it's cold in here like it's open air well guys this is our home for the next month i'll be filming tons of content both here and in some other cities around like i said that's why we picked here so that you know we are very central and we could go do lots of things around leipzig if you enjoyed the video please consider subscribing considering giving me a like it would really help me out i will be posting two videos a week for the foreseeable future so be sure to check back in they should be on mondays and wednesdays every monday and wednesday but uh, until next time we'll see ya